Butternut squash is one of those distinct fall flavors, and today's chef John Paul Hutchins from Le Cordon Bleu College of Culinary Arts is showing us some delicious recipes. You know, this is my absolute favorite vegetable. You know, it's the, I, I couldn't wait any longer. I think it dipped down to 80 degrees yesterday, and it's officially fall. <laughs> All right, so I'm bringing out the fall recipes. But a lot of people uh, pretty much split it in half. They throw brown sugar on it, which yeah, is great. Yeah, lots of butter. Which is wonderful. But I'm going to show you a couple different variations. And so we're going to make a little bit of a soup. And we're also going to make something called a gratin. So over here, and you were playing with the bacon before, and I can't blame you. We crisped up oh, a little bit of bacon. Yum. We th we're going to throw that over there. We're going to save that bacon. So don't eat that bacon. That's All our right. garnish at the end. Fine, fine, It's going to be tough, though. All right. Our cameraman over here has been eyeballing this bacon the whole show. You know, it smells like the whole studio. It's great. All right, so I'm just going to crush some garlic and throw that in. In the, in the pan that had mm -hmm. the bacon. So we're going to use that fat. And then I'm going to take some carrots. I'm going to cut those guys in half. Now, technique real quick. Whenever I'm dealing with something roly-poly, make sure that your hand's anchored and then down, okay? This is not a technique, all right? Because oh, it's real dangerous. Do. But, I mean, think about it. It can roll over and you can cut yourself. Right. So I want to put my hand down and just curl my knuckles back and just slice through it. It's called émancé in French. Emonce? All right, okay. so now you're speaking French. And can I, I try just, it? Can you, yeah, absolutely. Do we, did we save one, this one right here? Go ahead. Okay. Like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's hard with fingernails. Yeah, why don't you roll your fingernails back? There you okay. go. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> and that would be that would be not how you would do it at home. Okay. <laughs> Here's what not to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But no, you don't want to commit weight to the blade. So actually, if you use the the blade the way that it's built, it's really kind of a genius instrument when you think about it. All right. So it's using a, the you just have to practice. I, it really is a lot I of practice. I obviously don't use the knife enough in well, the kitchen. But most of us are never shown how to use the knife. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know, when we get in a situation like this, we just start hacking away at stuff. All right. And I'm going to throw some of these guys in here. Oh, I'm getting a little hot. Boom. Put him in. <laughs> put him in. And then I've got some diced butternut squash that I held. I cut it last night and I held it in water. And why the water? Um, just to keep it nice and fresh and keep it from drying out. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to let that go for a bit. I'm going to throw some thyme in there. I'm going to throw a bay leaf in there. And then I'm going to throw an apple in there. And all I'm going to do is quarter my apple, remove the core. And the way I'm going to remove the core is by cutting down at an angle. Are you going to leave the skin angle. on it? Yep, because the skin has pectin. And that's going to help me um, tighten up the soup because I'm not going to add any cream to it. All right, I so don't know what that means. But... Okay, have you ever had uh, jelly? Yeah. Okay, that's pectin. All right, so jelly's tightened with pectin. There's a lot of pectin in apple and grapes. Okay. So, so it's going to help the consistency is what you're saying. Yeah, it's going to make it a little bit richer without having to add fat. So I just have that little bit of bacon fat in there, but that's all the fat. Okay. That's all we're doing. So I'm going to let that sweat down for a little bit. Now so that, that's one dish. Okay. All right. That's it? No, well, I have one more. Oh. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. Right now, when, when I sweat down for a bit, then I'm going to add some chicken stock. And this one over here, I'm going to cut through the top. And this is for our gratin which is going to be a very cool thing. So I'm going to take these What is guys. a gratin? A gratin is, it's a casserole that's top brown. Classically, anything gratiné, all right, the top would be brown on it. So this is going to be a little casserole of butternut squash, and this time we're using Italian flavors. So instead mm -hmm. of going sweet, like we did over here, we had the hint of apple and all that stuff, mm -hmm. we're going to go a little bit savory. So go ahead and take that butternut squash Put and it throw in it in there. Okay, I'm going to go boom. All right. Oh, I would make this just so that it would smell like this in my it house. It smells awesome. I was cooking these off this morning, and my wife was like, so we're having that for breakfast, right? I was like, well, I love you, but i got to use this for the TV show. Yeah, and the whole crew is going to eat it, so <laughs> we won't be bringing anything back either. <laughs> okay, so take those guys and go ahead and throw them in the bowl. Okay, you know what? We're going to have to leave on this one, but we're going to come back. Okay. And then you can show us how you finished up the rattan. Absolutely. Okay, smells delicious. Uh, this seems like a great dish to serve for Halloween. Wonderful just Halloween. Saying. Big old chunk of roast pork. Can't beat it. Yum. Okay. Well, we'll be back with that in just a little bit, and you're going to show us uh, the butternut squash with the Parmesan. Mm -hmm. Delicious.